There's a lot of advice on how to prepare for and go to mediation successfully. But how good is the advice? Let's find out by reading this article about how to prepare for and go to a successful divorce mediation. I didn't write it, but it does contain some good advice as well as some bad advice. I'll explain why more in part four of this five-part series. Many mediators have a personal stake in mediations because they want to brag about their high success rate. The more mediations that they conduct that end with the agreement, the more effective they can claim to be. So even if the mediator himself or herself would not make a deal if the case were his or her own, many mediators will twist arms and put a lot of pressure on parties to settle a case simply so that the mediator can claim the mediation was a success. Be aware of this, beware of this, and know of this possibility up front. It won't be hard to tell when a mediator is putting pressure on you to settle. When that happens, recognize it and don't give in. You don't have to chew out your mediator for pressuring you. You may want to kindly point out that the mediator is pressuring you and that this is something that's inappropriate. Another way of responding to mediator pressure is to point out that if and when you want the mediator's opinion, you will ask for it. Remember, the mediator has no power over you. Mediation succeeds only if you and your spouse reach an agreement. Mediators cannot force a settlement on anyone, although many try, and we'll talk about that more in part four of this five-part series. The mediator cannot tell you what to do. He or she is not a judge and does not have any judicial powers. He or she cannot order you around. The mediator cannot be a witness for or against you in court. So don't fear your mediator. Don't worry about picking, quote, the wrong mediator, close quote. If you and your spouse end up picking a lousy mediator, you can always end the mediation session sooner than later and pick another mediator and try again. While the temptation to pressure one to settle is real, good mediators do not pressure anyone to settle. Good mediators are secure enough in their abilities and their limitations to know whether people settle in mediation is not necessarily a reflection of the skill or effectiveness of the mediator. Now good mediators will sometimes ask if you would like their opinion on whether the proposed settlement is appealing and worthwhile. If I were you, I would listen to such opinions. Experienced mediators can often help you recognize a good deal even when you can't see it on your own. While it costs you nothing to hear and consider a professional opinion, it might cost you plenty if you never bother to hear the opinion out in the first place. The mediator is not a miracle worker. The mediator does not possess magic powers of persuasion. So don't pin all the hopes of successful mediation on your mediator. Yes, there are mediators who are so incompetent that they do more harm than good, but what matters most is that you and your spouse are both of the mind that you would rather settle than continue to fight and litigate. I wouldn't sign any divorce settlement agreement without first sleeping on it. That's not only fair to you, it's fair to your spouse. If the proposed deal still looks good in the morning after you've had a chance to let your subconscious work on it, or after you've had a chance to review it with the attorney who attended mediation with you, or with an attorney for the first time if you went to mediation without an attorney in the first place, or after you've had a chance to review it with a trusted friend and you still feel good about it, then it's probably a good deal and one that's worth making. You'll feel the peace of mind of having taken a reasonable period of time to think it over before you sign your name and make it permanent. If your spouse tries to pressure you into signing by claiming the deal's off unless you sign right then and there, then it's probably a very good indication that it's a bad deal for you. Sleep on it. Any deal worth its salt can survive that.